Hello, friend, and welcome back to Morning Me. I'm Miss Mary, and I am so happy that you're here with me today because we've got a lot to learn. And I've got a special book for us to read today. It's called, Who Are Your People? by Bakari Sellers. Let's take a look at the cover, friend. So the title is, Who Are Your People? And then it looks like we've got a man here and maybe these are his kids. And then we've got some other people sitting over here. And then it looks like maybe some grandparents over here too. So what do you think this book is gonna be about if it's called, Who Are Your People? Hmm, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's gonna be about, we're gonna learn about different people. So let's get started. When you meet someone for the first time, they might ask, who are your people and where are you from? Who are your people? Let's see, it looks like they're looking into the clouds at different people. I think that's Muhammad Ali and Maya Angelou. And I think that's Stacey Abrams, but I'm not too sure. And then we have Dr. Martin Luther King. Have you heard of any of these people? You should always be proud of who you are. Your people were strong and smart. They dreamed of things not yet seen and imagined that we could all be free. Your people were fighters. When they were told they had to leave because of the color of their skin, they sat down. Hmm, it looks like the people in the back are not too happy about the people sitting at the table. And you know, friends, it's all because they just look different. They look different from them and they didn't like them. When people were mighty activists, champions that struggled for justice and equality, they marched so that people would know your life matters. And they stood up and ran to make history and change lives. Do you know who that man is right there? People are holding up signs that says, hope, hope, hope. Do you know who that is? That is President Barack Obama. And it says, vote Obama there. So that kind of helps you know who it is too. Your people were trailblazers who changed laws and broke records. Today, we stand on their shoulders. When they ask you, where are you from? You are from a land where the soil is dark and matches the richness of your skin, where cotton and sugarcane were strongly rooted and match your strength and determination. You are from the country where time moves with ease and where kindness is cherished. We say a simple hello to our neighbor to let them know we see them. You are from a place where the aromas of cakes and pies waft from the windowsills to fill your bellies with goodness and your hearts with love. They're eating some really good food right there. Tell me, what food do you see? I see some fish. Um, looks like they got a salad and maybe like some hot dogs or something there. What do you see? Yeah, they got a lot of good stuff there. Let's keep going. 
You are the product of the proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. Mm, they're dancing and singing and having a good old time. Oh, and look at our friend here in the corner. Looks like she's reading a book. You are from a place filled with love and hope and expectation where people rooted for you to succeed. Today, we stand on their shoulders. On their shoulders, you are so strong and so loved. On their shoulders, you can reach for the sky. It's like they're looking at some fireworks. So what will you dream and how will you change the world? Oh, look, she's president and he is on Mars. Looks like he became an astronaut. The end. That was a really good book, right friend? So good. So now I wanna ask you what the author asked us. How will you change the world? So in other words, what do you want to be when you grow up? I think that's a very good thing. You can be whatever you want to be and don't let anybody tell you any different. Now, friend, in the book, it talked about and it showed pictures of many people who have come before us. And one of those people was Maya Angelou. And Maya Angelou was a poet and a civil rights activist. Now you may be thinking, what is a poet? And a poet is someone who writes poems. But now, Miss Mary, you may be thinking, what is a poem? A poem is kind of like the story we just read, except it has rhyming words in them. What are rhyming words? Let's go to the learning lab and find out more.